again. The AVP goes retro. Blankets, beach chairs, and a whole lot of fun. The party's on, and we've got it for you. Next. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Southern California. Fox Sports Net is proud to present Coast to Coast Pro Beach Volleyball. This is the AVP Coppertone Kart Hirai Classic. Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm Bill McGunn, alongside, as always, MB Mike Dodd, and welcome back to California and another week of Pro Beach Volleyball. And why not, if this tournament is going to have Kart Hirai's name on it, that the man himself is in our final along with Adam Johnson. Well, Karch Karai, Santa Barbara's own hometown boy, he's made this place famous along with Henry Bergman from years back. No more deserving person to have a tournament named after him. Karch, maybe not the route he would have preferred, but he's come through the loser's bracket and he's made his way and clawed his way back to the final. It's been a great weekend. There was a huge luau on Friday night honoring Karch in his 140th career win. He looks for 141 here with A.J this afternoon. They're going up against a new team making their first appearance in a final. All of Mao, Stein Metzger, the fans are going, who are these guys? But if you're a player on the AVP, you know. They've been together three tournaments already. They took a ninth, they took two fifths, and now they've worked their way to the finals. Stein Metzger, an All-American setter out of UCLA. Long arms, he's got the whole package, ball control skill. All of Mao coming off shoulder surgery. Another Brazilian with great ball control. They're just a great team and they've been getting better and better every weekend. And not to go long here before we get to the introductions, but we have to talk about the setting here. It's old style volleyball as far as where the fans are gonna be today. Well, Bill Berger and the AVP, you gotta take their hats off to them. No bleacher seating. We've come back to East Beach in Santa Barbara where volleyball has one of its home stays and no bleachers. The fans are just packed around the court. Everyone's loving it here. It's got a wonderful feel. A lot of excitement. Let's get to who will be in our final and for the introductions, the Geeter back on center stage, Chris McGee. Coming all the way through the consolation bracket, he's having the best year of his career. He's from Laguna Beach, California. 41 career wins out of USC, three-time All-American, A.J. Adam Johnson! Keep it going, Santa Barbara, do not stop! The man who needs no introduction, he's wearing a familiar pink hat. He's from right here in Santa Barbara, out of UCLA, three-time gold medalist, 84, 88, and 96. He's got 140 career wins. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Park to ride. Playing in his first final, ladies and gentlemen, from the beautiful city of Brasilia. He took a year off and now he's back. Mr. Carlos Los Alamos! And of course, his partner from Honolulu, Hawaii, out of Punahou High School, UCLA, three-time national champion, MVP in 1996. He guaranteed me a win this year. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Stein Metzger! Woo! Santa Barbara, are you ready? It is a cool, comfortable summer afternoon in the city of Santa Barbara. Just great conditions to play what we think is going to be an excellent final. And we take a look at the sand and then the keys to the match, Mike Dodd. Billy Mack, the sand is absolutely perfect. We're on the shores of East Beach in Santa Barbara. Perfect playing conditions. The keys to the match, if you're Metzger and Alamau, it's Alamau's first final ever. Metzger's only been in one other. They gotta keep their composure and play well. And for Cryan Johnson, just maintain their consistent play that they showed in the finals of the loser's bracket. It would not be a week on the AVP without one of our main men, Tim Hoblin. You're gonna love his hat. Hop, what do you think of the match? No doubt, the AVP Card Try Classic. We're here in Santa Barbara, hometown band for Karch. 
Stein Metzger, Alamon's first final together. There's going to be some nervousness out there. The important is to get their first critical point smooth out. But I see Coach Kira and Adam Johnson with way too much power. They're going to take this tournament back to you guys. You got to love that lid on Tim Hovland. It looks like she'd be on the senior golf tour. You got to love She's the ready lid. ready to go. And Pop's going to go out on a limb and say Karch might win this tournament, I tell you. There is some pressure. You have your name on a tournament. He has uh, been a gracious host throughout the entire weekend. And once again, we want to talk about this venue that we have here. You bring your beach chairs, you bring your blankets. We get rid of the bleachers, and it's just like it used to be. And this is just an awesome sight, and we are so psyched for this final. And here we go, Adam Johnson who was flawless in his semifinal performance. And Karch Kirai, the big block on Stein Metzger to start things off, and it's one to nothing. And Billy Mack, Hov mentioned it's so important for Metzger and Alamo to get off to a good, clean start. And here you go, Adam Johnson, just putting the pressure on him. And Karch getting up, peeking over. And uh, for Johnson and Karai, they got the start that they wanted, getting that first point on the board. Adam Johnson, Karch Karai have been performing at a high level in every facet of the game. And this is one of their strengths, of course, the jump serve of Adam Johnson. From USC, Adam Johnson. Our first look at Carlos Los Alamao right there with the nice little cut touch across court. Good shot of Alamao there, seeing the court cross court, cutting it across. And like you said, Billy Mack, just came from Brazil, had an ugly shoulder surgery. Just nothing was done right. He went to see George Thabit up at Stanford Medical Center had another surgery to correct all the problems. Gail Wainer Physical Therapy, they've got Alamo back. And we'll talk more about this later. AJ, there's that cut that has been so effective for him. Adam Johnson. AJ out of Laguna Beach, California. There's Karch Kirai, so many of the pink 140 hats, which will become obsolete, of course, if Karch will win this one. Well, I think you just got to appreciate Adam Johnson, the volleyball that he's been playing throughout this whole 140, Karch Kirai, all the hype, all everything. Adam Johnson just silently just plays incredible volleyball. This will be Stein Metzger. Karch, good stretch, but the kill on the put away by Stein Metzger. Let's talk a little bit about Stein. Played uh, so many years. There's Ali Mao. Uh, but uh, Stein Metzger played many years at UCLA out of Honolulu, Hawaii. Well, Stein, and a very talented setter. I tell you, talented setter, talented volleyball player. He's got all the tools. I think one of the better kept secrets on the tour. He's got all the in on, intangible hey, qualities to become a really top flight volleyball player. He's got a great arm swing, great ball control, and he's got the mental side of it too. He just comes out and battles every time he plays. In fact, if you ask the guys on tour who has played really well the last few weeks, Stein Metzger's name would come up uh, quite often. He has been playing good volleyball. And uh, we finally get a chance to showcase it for you. Serving at one nothing, Adam Johnson, Metzger. We'll get this look. Well off the net, driven right through the tape and down into some open sand and side out for Metzger and Alemao. Well, you got to appreciate Stein Metzger, born in Hawaii, lived there, played at UCLA, went back this winter, helped his father build his uh, home, did a lot of construction work, and just kind of joined the AVP actually a little bit later, hooked up with Alemao, and to talk to both of them, everything just clicked right from the start. They just played well together immediately. Cut, cut, cut! Come on, Little go. bumper by AJ, and a hit by Karch. Let's talk about something we're gonna see throughout this match, and that is the setting of Karch Kirai and Adam Johnson. Uh, you have made a point out of uh, noticing how low these sets have become. Well, especially Kart setting Adam, he's giving him a low shoot bump set. And with Adam's quick arm swing, it just seems like he's really enjoyed that type of a set, really thriving on it. Look at that dig by Metzger. Unbelievable stuff. Alamo was in the right place at the right time. And Kart's Kirai way up the ladder that time to dink it down. And this appreciative, knowledgeable volleyball throng lets out their applause. This is Santa Barbara, and it's been a marvelous weekend of volleyball. Little little uh, tournament recap, I shall say, with the music of Michael Alamagna for you.
Don't have to travel, I get to sleep in my own bed. When I see a dangling on the vine, Still, partner. Looking at the tournament results, you just can't help but notice Lewis and Seaman, another strong third place finish. A lot of people were worried about Ken and Seaman after not being able to play in Chicago. Another great finish for those guys. And Karch Kirai and Adam Johnson lead two to nothing early. It has been a long time since the AVP has come to East Beach here in Santa Barbara, great volleyball beach. In fact, the last time we were here. The champions were very young, Mike Dodd and Tim Hoff. <laughs> now you're going to date me. I tell you, 1982, it doesn't seem like that long ago, but we were playing the Tournament of Champions. Uh, we had lost in 1981 to Karch Karayans and Smith. We won the Tournament in 82, beating John Stevenson and John Hanley, and there were so many people. They were spilling onto Cabrillo Boulevard, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. Back to the action here, and Stein Metzger down into the deep corner. It is two to nothing. We're going to 15. Must win by two. Nine minute clock. And watching Alamo and Metzger throughout the tournament, they're so precise in their shots. They both take that little peek as they're making their approach. They go up and they, they just hit the ball where the players aren't. Adam, quick and powerful with that arm swing and another good bump by Karch Karai and a side out for the machine, Adam Johnson. And here you're gonna see this little bump scooper from Karch Karai. Adam Johnson, quick feet, quick arm, and really just putting the ball past the block and before the defense can react to it. And, and uh, the guys are going to have to try to react to, to how low Karch is setting Adam right now. Let's talk about block and uh, defense of Metzger and Alemao. Good, bad, mediocre? Certainly not mediocre. Certainly not Whitmarsh or certainly not great in that aspect. They're both great ball control players, good block, good defensive players. And uh, they're a lot like Karch Karai and Adam Johnson. They're not going to blow anyone over in any one skill, but you put, combine all the skills, and they're one of the best teams out there, and they're proving it uh, week in and week out, taking two fists in a row and now getting to their first final. That went into the net for Metzger. He finished second in Cincinnati in 1988 with uh, Eduardo Basile. Finished ninth. 10 times. Nice. Metzger, Karch, what else you got? Adam puts him outside. Kirai! We talk about all the indoor experience that Karch had in the 80s playing on the U.S. national team, and there's one of the sights of it. He takes a ball 10 feet off the net, ripping it into the deep corner. That's just a great outside hitting type of six-man delivery. Karch is one of the best. Taking the loser's bracket route just outside. Karch Kirai trying to whistle that one down the line. And now Alemao will serve it up. Who oh, I think looks a little bit like the long lost cousin of Steve Obradovich, former AVP Southpaw star. Come on, go! Maybe his head might not be so big. Down the line, give him a Now OB's going to love that. 
Oh, OB loves that. Adam's got his own look. But take a look at Alamo a little bit later on with the sunglasses on. And, and try to picture. Just a, try to imagine separated a, at birth. A trimmed down Steve Obradovich. <laughs> a trimmed down OB even. Come back inside to our great center court. Alemao, big pound, right past yeah, Karts Kirai. Right I tell you, we, we've, we've chronicled uh, Brian Lewis and Adam Johnson, how they hit a golf ball. I tell you, Steve Obradovich, you ought to check him out playing golf. The guy's about a two. And he hits it with a two wood, too, not a driver. There's Alemao. Wham. Big time. No shoulder problems there. His arm's looking lively. And they're just playing great volleyball. Although the entire time that, uh, or most of the time, oh, great serve by Metzger. Stein gets them a point, and it's three to one. You're going to see Stein just hop up and rip this ball down Karch Karai's line. I'll tell you, there aren't a lot of serves that you get off that Karch doesn't touch. Stein going 6 3, 190. That one into the net, and Kirai will serve it again. Two service errors now for Metzger. And we'll get a good look at uh, Karts Kirai. There's Stein. Karch up 3-1. Hey, come on! Come on! Hey. Unable to get there, Kirai. He saw it coming. Saw That's it. really all that uh, Stein Metzger could do with he that. He saw it coming and had the big stretch out there, and I tell you... Again, sometimes we harp on these little critical moments early on in the match, but I think this is a critical time for Alamau and Metzger. I think they've got to get the 3-2 side change because it's early on in the match. It's their first final together, the first final ever for Alamau. You don't want to go down 4-1. If there's a good side, are they on it right now? Yes, they are. Not a huge advantage, though. Park loves to go cross-court right there, and he does. That's it. Let's get forward. Adam Johnson will take the stroll back to the service area. Minute and a half into the play, 3-1. Kirai and Johnson, who, by the way, will miss the next AVP tournament in Louisville. They've got a couple of FIVB tournaments on their schedule. Trying to rack up some points there. Come on! Might have to do a little house cleaning with the line as Karch Kirai, again, he's gotten wet a couple of times now. Karch going from one side of the court to the other. Adam Johnson a little upset. He could have controlled that. Loopy shot a little bit better, and like you said, Billy, Karch and Adam on for uh, the next two weeks on the FIVB Tour, trying to gain those all-important points to qualify for our U.S. Olympic team. And uh, for Karch and Adam, they had a very nice fifth-place finish in France, which was worth double points. That was the FIVB's version of the World Championship. And uh, they've got to go out and have a couple more good finishes if they're going to catch Sinjin Smith, Carl Henkel, Rob Heiger, and some of the other guys that are playing exclusively on the FIVB tour. Kirai. Got it. Well, though, Metzger got a hand on it. But let us reiterate the fact, nothing against the AVP tour. In fact, Kirai and uh, Adam Johnson, two of the flag bearers, really, for the rejuvenation of the AVP under Billy Berger and staff, and uh, just really enjoying the, the newfound enthusiasm that this tour has provided in 1999. And by the way, the brewery in Louisville will be rocking when we get there in a couple of weeks. And you got to get there early, too, you Louisville folks, because it's not a big place. It's a great volleyball venue, but you're going to have to get there early. Billy, another real nice side out for Stein Metzger. And I think uh, Karch, Adam, I think all of the AVP players would uh, never miss a tournament at all if they weren't forced into doing it by going and having to play on the yeah. FIVB tour to qualify for the Olympics. It's an unfortunate situation in that regard. Oh, slam dunk right back at you. Out of Real nice hesitation on his block there for all of them out. He saw Karch's arm slow down. He waited just for the right moment. Well, she's going to see Karch. She's going to delay just a second, hang, and slap it back. And that's that big second point that they really needed to get themselves going. That's what they're talking about. It's 3-2, and we've got ourselves a final here in Santa Barbara. Back in SD Santa Barbara, and we are in our own little tiki hut as we are every single week. But Hob has found the perfect party porch. Hob, what are you doing up there? 
Is this a 1982 flashback? No bleachers, people sitting in the stands, drinking beer, having a great time. What do you think about no bleachers at Santa Barbara? Well, I'm quite fond of the sand myself. I like to be close to the players. They like to be close to players. What is volleyball coming to? We're loving this. Mike, Billy Mack, back to you. Hobbs just got my head spinning. It's the amazing journalism that he brings to the telecast week in and week out. Back now at 2-3, Metzger and Alemau. Got the last point. Karch Kirai pounding that one down for a side out as we have changed sides now at 3-2. And we've seen Karch Kirai do this many times throughout the season. He starts to float serve and follow it up and do the majority of the blocking for himself and Adam Johnson. Right now, Alemau is doing the same thing with himself and Stein Metzger. He's serving the float serve. He can't get a lot of pace on the jumper with his shoulder. So he's serving the float and going up and doing the blocking for his team. Missed a whole year of volleyball, Alamau. Oh, great dig. Adam Johnson, a little self-defense there, too. Left hand and down. Oh, AJ. <laughs> Run for cover, baby. I tell you, self-preservation self defense, that's what that's called. Adam Johnson just trying to keep himself from getting six-packed. The ball pops right up his arm, and, of course, Karch Karai, Hungarian rototeller that he is, just tracking the ball down, giving Adam something to swing at. And that was just a big point for Karch and Adam. AJ again. The Hungarian hey, rototiller. I tell you, his legs move through the sand like no one's I've ever seen. They, just, they just churn up the sand. More great defense by Adam Johnson. And you see Karch upset with himself on that. He knows he should have dropped off and... Stein Metzger just ripped the ball on that earlier play. Adam Johnson's survival techniques just bumping the ball up. That's got to be a little bit frustrating. But they're playing well. They're in this match. They got the three two side change they needed. Now they just got to settle down and try to score some points of their own. Metzger. Playing under Al Skates at UCLA, as did Karch Kirai. That's a good dig himself, a little one-handed job, but you know about the fifth row with the velocity of that. Well, that's the trouble when Adam Johnson's really whipping that ball. You not only have to dig it, but you've got to buffer the ball. If you just if you just hit the ball, it's going to sail out of bounds as it did this time. Adam just ripping cross court, Stein in the right position, but you've got to buffer that ball. You just can't get your hand on it, or it's going to sail out of bounds. Come on, come on. Metzger up and over the top. Stein's got all the shots, as you'll see as we progress through this final. And Alamel with a very nice bump set. You know, you, whether it's sports or in life, you know, you take adversity and you and you see the silver lining. And for Alamel, talking to him, he had all these shoulder problems, but what did he do? He said it made him concentrate more on his ball control, his passing, his different skills, and that's what's made him a better player. And you know what's interesting, talking to both of them before this final, really composed. I, at, at times, you talk to some of the players before they go out there, and you can see some jitters, a little excitement, maybe a little more hyper than usual. Both these guys really laid back, but intense and ready to go. Metzger, that's a good get on a fine serve, and then a running hook into the corner. Oh, good stuff from Metzger, and a good set from Alemal. Really nice pushing him up there towards the net. And that's something that Stein Metzger can do, you know, for Adam Johnson, Karch Karai, they got a great jump serve. They get him in trouble. All of a sudden, the guy's flying off one leg, ripping the ball across his body back down the line. He can do those type of athletic plays. That's why I say he's one of those diamonds in the rough. He's only going to get better, and he's got all the natural skills to be a top beach volleyball player. Yeah. Card says, I still got it in my late 30s. As he turns that one down the line with authority. Karch's dad, Laz, has been a staple out here on the beach for the last couple of days. And you know, we talk so much about Karch's shoulder, but you forget the fact he's 38 years old, and I don't see one difference in his legs. The way he moves on the sand and the way he jumps, he gets up as good as, as he ever has. <laughs> Adam Johnson having a little talk with the pole. Man, you don't talk about tree trunks for legs, Adam uh, Karch Karai. And here you're going to see him. again, rototilling through the t sand, just churning. Adam Johnson, he'd like to have that one back. 
But I tell you, that's the thing about Karch, the way he plays. You just get the ball anywhere in his area, and he's he, he's missed, just barely missed getting up a couple of them. But throughout the course of the match, those legs keep turning, and he keeps put, putting up balls. Adam Johnson tooling the block that time. 5.55 remaining. 4-2. So we've played over three minutes of uh, volleyball in 4-2, which means both teams signing out pretty well. Points at a premium here in the early going. You good. Great. And as we say that, tough serve, shank pass, 5-2. Adam will usually rack up two or three aces at least in a match. And this ball just kind of handcuffs Alamau. Alamau thinks it's going to dip in front of him, and it just keeps sailing and catches him up high, unable to control. That's the first ace. First ace, rather, for Adam Johnson. And... Alamau, up and over, cards to 5-2. Great shot, Alamau. His shoulder just continues to improve. When he first got through with the surgeries and was in the middle of therapy, he, he spent a lot of time coaching Holly McPeak, and he says, through that time, you go down and coaching and watching other people, it actually helps you with your own game. It helps you analyze and criticize and see what you're doing wrong. And he says, more than anything else, this shoulder surgery has helped him to become a more complete player. Karch wins that battle at the net. Let's take a quick break. Be right back with more action from Santa Barbara after this. We are back, Karch Kirai. Is set to serve, up 5-2. Metzger, long way around. And that one's out. So Metzger had a pretty good opportunity and a miscue there, unforced. See a little frustration there. Excuse me, Billy and Stein Metzger. He looked a little off in his approach. This whole this whole side out sequence. He was just under the ball, had it drift behind him, and just cuffed it out of bounds down the line. And we have a short break. And while we have some time, Paul Mitchell, each and every week, brings you closer to some of the stars of the ABP Tour with our Beach Pros. And this week, easy choice. The main man on the sand, right there, Arch Kirai. Arch. <laughs> There's nothing else to say, you know, Karch is Karch. The guy is the sport. Greatest volleyball player in the history of time. I've spent a lot of time here on East Beach with John Hanley and a lot of our other buddies, but especially with John. We'd, every summer day we would race down here, try to be the first ones here, and win as many games as we could. And our dream was just to be able to be allowed to step on the court with all the AAA guys. See that? The block right back at him. And the kill. There is really not a lot of people who come around in a lifetime in a sport that have the ability that he does in volleyball or like Gretzky does in hockey or like Magic and Bird had in basketball. They all have that kind of intangible thing of bring out the best in the game and in whoever they're playing with as they've been his career. Now look at it, it's ridiculous. The sport needs Karch Karai because he has set the standards indoors, outdoors, worldwide. He, he's blazing the trail for everybody else to follow and every sport needs an athlete and a leader and a human being like him. Sir Karch Karai! I think we have a real obligation on this tour, every player on this tour, to try to stay accessible. That's one of the very unique things about the sport. You can look over my shoulder and the people are right there talking to the athletes. They walk through everybody to get to the court. Um, people can ask them for autographs at any time. And it, that unique closeness with the athletes is something we want to maintain. But more important than his occupation is the person he's become. The wonderful husband, father, son he is. Those are the mo most important things in life, being a good husband and a good dad. And I think those are the greatest things that any man can hope to achieve or to aspire to. And I'm 
proud of uh, the effort I give, and I'm gonna, I'm never gonna stop giving that effort to try to be a better dad and a better husband. I think that we're very fortunate to have Karch uh, as our ambassador, uh, indoor and outdoor. I think he's done more for, for beach and indoor than than any other player in the world. And uh, you know, I hope he just keeps playing uh, for as long as he can. There seems to be a lot of the uh, the fire and the fun back in in the sport after a couple of years where there were some struggles and a lot of clouds, and that makes it easier for us. Now all we have to worry about is playing well and having fun out there.